So far in this course, we have learned about components and directives in great detail. Now it's time to learn about services in Angular. So in this lecture, you're going to learn what is an Angular service and where do we use a service. So a service in Angular is simply a TypeScript class. Okay, so a service is a reusable TypeScript class that can be used in multiple components across your Angular application. Okay, so from this definition, we know that a service is a TypeScript class in Angular and we can use that TypeScript class across multiple components in our Angular application. But why do we need a service? So let's say we have several components in our Angular application that need to access some data. Now what you can do is you can write data access code in each component. But this approach is very inefficient and it breaks the rule of single responsibility. So your component must focus on presenting the data to the user. And the task of getting data from the backend server must be delegated to some other class. And we call such a class a service class. That's because this class provides the service of providing data to every component that needs it. Let's understand this with a simple example. So let's say we have a web application and in that web application, we have a component called JavaScript component. In this component, we have this enroll button. Now what I want is when a user clicks on this enroll button, I want to show an alert message to the user saying that thank you for enrolling for JavaScript course. For that, we will have to write the logic of displaying this alert window in the TypeScript class of this JavaScript component. Right. So here we have this method on enroll and when a user will click on this enroll button, it will call this on enroll method and it will display an alert message. Thank you for enrolling. Now let's say just like this JavaScript component, we have other two components called Angular component and React component. And in these two component also, we have this enroll button. So when the user click on these enroll buttons, then also we want to display an alert message saying that thank you for enrolling. So in order to do that, we will have to write this same logic in the component class of these two components as well. Right? So here, if you notice, we have three components and in the component class of each of these components, we have the same method with the same logic. So here we are repeating the same code in three different components. So if we have 50 courses in our application and each course has this enroll button, then we will have to write this same logic in the component class of each of those courses. Now, this is not a very efficient way of developing an application. Here, we are violating the dry principle. That means do not repeat yourself. Here, we are repeating the same code again and again for each of the course components. Now, it would be good if we can write this method in a centralized file and then we can access that file to use this method for each of the components which needs that method. And that is possible with services. So what we can do is we can move this method in a service class and each component which needs this method can access it from this service class. Okay, so here we have a single copy of this on enroll method and then this method can be reused in different components where we need it. And in this way, a service in Angular provides reusability of the code. Let's understand service in Angular with another example. So let's say in our web page, we have two components, component A and component B. And in both of these components, we are displaying a list of products. Now without services, we will have to create this product list in the respective component class of each component like this. Okay. So here we are creating this product array for this component A and we are creating this product array inside the component class of component A. In the same way, if we want to use this products list in this component B, then in the component class of this component B, we will have to again create this product array with the same products. Okay, so the product list is going to be same for the entire application. 
it is not going to be different for component A and component B, right? And if we have other components also in our application which needs this product list, then for that component also, we will have to create this product list in the component class. And again, we are violating the dry principle here. So again, what we can do is we can move this product array inside a service class. And all the components which needs to use this product array, they can get it from that service class. In this way, we don't have to create this product array for each and every component where we want to use this product list. And in this way, a service in Angular provides reusability of the code. And also, in the very beginning of this lecture, we learned that the component must focus on presenting the data to the user. And the task of providing data to all the components must be delegated to service class. And this is why this is called as a service because it provides the service of providing data to every component that needs it. We can also use services to communicate between different components. So let's say in our web application, we have an app component. And for that app component, we have three child components, component A, component B and component C. Now this component B also have a child component, which is component B1. And component C also has two child components, component C1. And this component C1 has the child component, component C2. Now in our previous lectures, we have learned that if two components has a parent-child relationship, then we can pass data from parent component to child component and vice versa using at input and at output decorator. But what if we want to communicate between two components which does not have a parent child relationship. In that case, we cannot use at input and at output decorator, right? So let's say here, I want to communicate between component A and component C2. And this component A and component C2 does not have a parent child relationship. So in this case, we cannot use at input and at output decorator. But in this case, we can use services to communicate between these two components. Okay, so it is possible to communicate between two components which does not have a relationship using services. All right, so I hope with these three examples, what is a service in Angular and where do we use a service in Angular is clear to you. Now let's quickly see some of the advantages of using a service. So first of all, services are easier to debug and test. Then, Services provides reusability of code and we understood this with three examples. In the first example, we reused the onEnroll method and in the second example, we reused the products array. And with services, we can communicate across different components which does not have a parent child relationship. So these are some of the advantages of using a service. Now in the next lecture, we will create our very first service in Angular. And there you will learn how a service provides reusability of the code. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.